Hey there everyone, Faish here and welcome to another video on our Gets B series. In case you haven't hit that subscribe button on my YouTube channel, now is the perfect time. You should do that. Okay, so let's have a tour of our very first Gets B project. In the previous one video, we created our very first Get Pro Gets B project. It is now up and running. We are super proud on it. Now let's go ahead. So now we're going to do a detailed review of our entire project. It's like an unboxing of a phone. So you might be asking, hey, in the unboxing, the phone is never touched first. We all show charger and the earphones first and let and the last we have the phone. Exactly same. The source is our phone. We're not going to touch it right from the first because that's the meat content of this entire project. So we're going to touch it after a while. So the first and foremost, we have got a node modules. We never ever touch this folder because everything is installed from the command line. Remember, npm install so and so. This is where it does. Then there is a public folder. Now, since Gatsby is a framework, we don't touch the public folder as well because all the information from the public folder actually comes up uh, via the code that we are writing in the source. So what is inside this public folder? It has a lot of JSON file. It's, it's not technically correct to say, but for understanding purpose, it is really good to say that it contains a lot of JSON files, which are almost like uh, APIs, which are calling some of these codes and folder. And you can just go ahead and open it up and uh, check. Uh, this is the astronaut folder. PNG goes up here. Uh, we have a whole lot of things going up here. It's the D folder. They have a lot of things. And these are the things like almost, you can notice here, JSON as well. So it has a ton of JSON file, which calls the context here and there, and it serves the project. The whole idea is you don't ever touch that. We don't ever touch these, these folders public. It is automatically being generated, so just keep it there. Now moving and skipping the source part. Now git ignore, it's not a git ignore, it's a dot git ignore, it's a hidden file, so you will not be able to see if you'll just go from the explorer or whatever you call that uh, on the windows. So we are gonna go that. So again, we don't touch the git ignore, it has information what files to ignore. One of them is this npm node modules. We'll talk about that in a minute. Now, what also you're going to notice that, just for a moment, let me open this source component header.js. There are no semicolons in this entire file. You can see that we are importing and stuff. Now, you might be thinking, hey, shouldn't we use semicolons? Now, surely we can, but there are some configuration being automatically done in the Gatsby project, which are stored in this uh, pretty ERRC. So this is where it mentions all these basic rules. So in case you get panicked without the semicolons, just turn it through. It's gonna allow to have your semicolons. Right now, it is, these are the instruction to my prettier that hey, we don't need semicolons, single quote is false and all these information. So this, is, this actually goes up here. In case you want to add more of your rules, feel free to do it. Okay, so that's basic stuff. Now, there is nothing inside the browser file, nothing inside uh, this node file, SSR. We don't touch that much often. Surely, sometimes in the server configuration, we do that. And again, now, one of the two important files, one is the package.json. So all the plugins that we're going to install, notice there are so many already installed, but some of them is something which we are going to install. Notice the React, React DOM, React Helmet, all these are already installed for us. The dev dependency is prettier, so it is already being installed for us and is already kicking in. Now, in case you want to install something more, we're gonna just write npm install. That first goes into this file here, and then we are able to use it. So we don't touch package.json directly, we just install it through npm. That's one thing. Another thing is Gatsby config. Now, we all love Gatsby because if you go into the website, there are so many plugins available on here. And probably whenever you're going to need anything, they have a huge list of plugins, and one of the reasons we all love Gatsby. So whenever we need anything, there is gonna be some configuration associated with that plugin, so we're gonna just copy and paste, paste these configuration up here. Now also you're gonna notice here that there is some site metadata available which says title Gatsby default server. If you'll go on to your project, you're gonna see and notice that at the very top, it says home, and then it says Gatsby default server. Definitely really hard to see. Uh, let me try to zoom up here. It's really hard to see, but it is there, it is there. So what we're gonna do is you can just go up here and change this. Make sure these are inside the back ticks. So make sure you also pay uh, close attention here. These are not quotes. These are not your single quotes. These are back ticks. Uh, these are available just below your escape key. It's, it's really hard to find. So we can just uh, very carefully go up here and change the title here. So we're all gonna change the title here to uh, learn code online, uh, 
a test project kind of a stuff not the test i got the name for it finally we're gonna say youtube project okay so i want you to write uh, another awesome amazing description for this uh, i'm gonna just write a very smaller one amazing uh, awesome youtube uh, people because you guys are awesome and surely you can add your name here and that's it that's all we're gonna do uh, changes here so save that and we're gonna close this okay now coming on to the phone part the actual meat is the source there's a lot of things going up into the source now notice here we have a couple of folders components images and pages very nicely structured in the pages we have got three pages given to us the first one is the index.js a whole lot of content i will spend a whole time on to defining what these are and we have also a page 2.js let's go on to the project see that this is one here page one index one and on the page two this is our page two and notice here how automatically changes learn code online youtube project that's awesome that's nice okay so this is the basic pages that we have we have 404.js that if the page is not found this is going to kick in okay this is all done automatically for us let's close this out so now we are aware of pages definitely images i'm going to provide you a couple of images because to be honest who wants to use all that's very amazing uh, but really we don't want to use the astronaut given by uh, the gatsby guys i wish i could i love that but we're going to be using our own images i will be providing you please go ahead and use those images if you want to look your website absolutely amazing otherwise there are going to be some issues with the images with different sizes once you do the we are done with the project feel free to use it then the most important thing is component since we are using react in this entire project entire project is going to be divided into variety of components navbar headers footers layouts all of these things so we have seo js which is using a hell lot of seo properties we definitely can go ahead and have a look on this we're going to skip this we have a layout js layout css image js which brings up our image gets the image and the header as well so definitely it's like too much of the things that we are having uh, but definitely we are going to be exploring a whole lot of it okay i know it's a little bit overwhelming so that's it that's the tour of your very first gatsby project now you know what file it is where it is and how we're going to be using that so in the next video what we'll be doing is we'll be importing some of the assets and graphics and we are going to be placing them inside the images and we will be deleting a, a whole lot of things from the component as well and we'll be adding some of our own files as well slowly but one step at a time it's going to be all good so i hope you have enjoyed this one and you have already hit that subscribe button if not right now is the current perfect time to hit that subscribe button and invite your friends for this amazing series that's it for this video and let's catch up in the next video